Hey, what's up everybody? Eric with Solabox. Asher and I are out in the shop today. What you got going on? Make inside well. Hey, hey, both hands. Can you stop that while I make this video, please? It's kind of loud. So anyway, I just picked up an Arbor Press today. And the reason behind it is that there are some uh, parts that, or some cuts actually, that I need to make that I can't make on this tool here. I'll show you what I mean. So, for every lid I make, I have to remove all of this metal here, including this little triangle piece. And I can remove most of it right here at this machine, but this triangle I can't do. So I've been trying to figure out, you know, how can I how can I get rid of that little triangle? And so what I've been doing is getting on this saw every time. And when you have to do four of those for each and every lid, it gets time consuming. So what I did today was I picked up this little Arbor press. And what I'm gonna try to do is make uh, some punch and dies. So this is tool steel. It's it, tool steel, excuse me, it's in its annealed state, so it's soft, so I can actually mill this over there on the mill. And what I'm gonna try to do is make a triangular shaped piece like this that will end up on the bottom of the arbor, and I will have to make uh, the receiving part of that down here, and hopefully make a punch. This is a one-ton arbor. I don't, you know, I've never tried doing anything like this, so I don't really know how this is gonna go. Um, but I do know that on this machine over here, it doesn't take a whole lot of force. Let's grab a piece of aluminum and I'll show you. To make a small cut. Like, uh, I'll set this right here and we'll take off. Let's see, just uh, a real small piece, but you can watch me pull down on this. Well, I didn't really mean to do that, but you can see it doesn't take a whole lot of force to actually make a cut with this. So I'm thinking that a one ton arbor press will probably be enough. I might have to extend the length of the arm. Actually, I'll probably have to extend the length of the arm to get enough leverage, but I think there's enough cast iron there that, uh, that this will work. And so I will make one I'll probably, there's like three of them that I need to try to make. And this is the, the easiest one. It's just this little triangle. Um, another one I need to make is a little bit more complex. Let's see if I can find the jig for what I'm gonna try to, what I'm talking about. I don't see it. Ah, there it is. So here's another shape that has to be done. So um, for every box I produce, I have to make four of these on the body and four of them on the, uh, on the end caps, which makes for eight of these little notches. And actually for me to make these notches on this machine, I can do it, but I have to do two notches for each of those. So there's 16 different notches that have to be done. And it'd be a lot easier if I was just to be able to, you know, make eight of them real quick. Hey, Asher, turn that off. Thank you. It'd be a lot easier if I could just, you know, at the Arbor Press, just do eight of them real quick where it's just set up to do just that notch, slide the piece in and click, it's done. Flip it over, click, the other side of it's done and keep on moving. Because as it stands now, a lot of why the new boxes are taking so long to produce is because I'm spending just an enormous amount of time over at the notcher. Um, and another thing about these notches is they've got to be really accurate. If they're off, if they're not square. I'm being too loud? Yeah. Well, excuse me. <laughs> anyway, yeah, so speed and accuracy is what I need. So these are like 60 bucks at the Harbor Freight. And so maybe I'll, maybe I'll buy three of them and have them just lined up to where I can go through and uh, just knock out what I need. It would be cool if I could just have one and have the pieces pop in and out really quick, but I have a feeling that uh, part of how I'm gonna do this is I'm gonna thread this from the bottom. Asher, be quiet, please. I'm gonna have it thread up from the bottom to hook the pieces on. I'll take this out and uh, drill and tap it. 
And then the receiving part of it, I'm not sure exactly how I'm gonna build that. Maybe out of like, I'll put like 3 8 inch plate down here. And you have to have hardened tool steel, um, basically the exact, exact opposite of this shape um, for it to punch down through. So we'll see how that comes together. I'm thinking that this will be part one of probably a multi-part thing on how this goes. So wish me luck. We'll see how it goes. Hey, Asher, say bye to everybody. Bye. We'll uh, talk to you later. Ride safe, everybody.